Hello, welcome everyone. Thank you for joining me. My name is Mary and I will be creating a look using the fifth sign in the Cara Beauty Zodiac collection. Now this is a uh, series that I started earlier in the year. This will be look number five. The packaging. The packaging is gorgeous. I love it. And of course what caught my eye is the color purple. It is my favorite color. And these are the shades. They are beautiful, beautiful shades. And if y'all have been with me for a minute, you know Cara Beauty is one of my favorite affordable uh, makeup brands. The shimmers, the shimmers are amazing. And you will get to see that. So I did prime and set my eyes. And let's go ahead and get started. I will, I do need to go deep on the outer corner and the deepest shade in here is going to be this blue and that is creative. And I do have a mirror here. I do not do the V, I simply darken the outer corner. And I was going to do one eye, but I'm I'm just gonna take it into both eyes. And the reason I darken the outer corner is because I do have hooded eyes and I just try to lift it a little. I do have very, very deep wrinkles in my eyes. So for that, I do have to tap a lot in order to get into the folds of my eye and not have it look extremely patchy. And I will be cleaning up and then coming back and finishing because I will do the eye look and eyelashes will be done outside of camera. Now let's go ahead and go into um, which one am I going to do? I'm going to go with the green on the inside. So purple is going to be on the outside. And now I'm going to use the shade ruler, which is this one here. And I am going to layer it over the blue, which will just deepen it and hopefully turn it into a dark purple which it just might. And like I said, I am going bold, not too light, not too dark, but definitely bold. And this is an awkward eye because I do have to go a different way. My hand does not do the same thing it does on this side. I don't think anybody's hand does. I haven't mastered using my opposite hand to do the opposite eye. I'm working on it, but I still have not been able to master it. Okay, now that we've got that going, and it did deepen it into a dark purple, which I like. I like that. Now I'm going to start pulling it in. Now I'm pulling it in. Let's go ahead and get on this side and pulling it in is going the opposite on this side. This one is fairly easy as you can see because now I'm going the opposite way but doing it on this side takes a little bit more work. There we go. Now let's go ahead and get into the green. 
and I don't know if that was a mistake, but I'm going to carry it out. The green is going to be on the inner part of my eye. I'm not going to go too dark with it, but definitely going to put some pigment in there. And I'm going to start with Earth, Earth Sign, which is this one here, so that I'm not too much on the dark side. And then I will darken it up. And I like the shades. And some of them are pigmented and some of them may not be. But I have discovered that with Cara Beauty, they're buildable if they are not pigmented. And they do blend very easy without losing a lot of your pigment. So that helps. And now I'm going to go into the darker green, which is Ambitious, which is this one here. And I'm doing it with the opposite side of this same brush. And just meeting my purple. I think I went a little too far on. We'll get that cleaned up. And it probably had to do with the wrinkles. but I will most definitely clean that up. And it just depends on the lighting because if I'm looking in my mirror, it is looking very dark and then I look in my camera and it's not that dark. So I may be adding more based on what I see up there. But there we are. That's where I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to start going in with the shimmers. And I, for those, I am going to be using my fingers. And I do this with every shimmer, or mo almost every single shimmer, where I will use my fingers for that. And I am going to go in with the green and take a look at that. But I will be swatching these. So they are something that will be swatched. Oh my. Take a look at that shimmer. I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my, I love this. Now I'm gonna go onto the other eye. I am loving this shimmer. And I did not give you a name, but I will. Trying to even it out. Oh my. Take a look at that. I love it. And for that shade, it is grounded. I love it. And now I am going to go into the purple, which is Mercury. This one here. And for that, I am going to have to clean my hand first. Or not my hand, my finger. <laughs> I am using my fingers. And they are not going to be easily removed, but definitely enough to get that pigment in here. Oh my. 
Now let's bring this into the outer eye. I have to do this. These are shades that need to go on bold. And I will be, like I said, cleaning up a little bit once I hop off and making sure that those shades do stay where they need to be. As you can see, I did go a little off, but you'll get the general idea before I hop off and then we will go ahead and go from there and come back and show you the final results. I know with glitters and shimmers, and this is just something that I have been seeing everywhere. I don't follow very many rules when it comes to makeup. I play in makeup. It is what I like, what I want to do with it. And they say shimmers and glitters are not for hooded eyes or mature eyes. I still wear them and that is just me. So let's go ahead and get this done. There we go. And I will be right back after I put my mascara on, clean it up a little bit. I do see a little of the fallout and it has to do mainly with the purples. I don't know if it was the shimmer that it's hitting my hooded eyes or if it was actually this shade here. But I do see a little bit of fallout. Definitely cleaning it up coming back and showing you the final results. And this is the final look. What do y'all think? I love it. It is out of my comfort zone just a little bit, but I had fun with it and it is a relaxing thing for me to do. So playing in makeup has always been a relaxing thing and that is what I did today. Took it to a bold level only because this palette was screaming go bold and i did all of these shades beautiful shades once again it is the fifth in the zodiac collection by cara beauty now i'm going to swatch the shades i'm not going to swatch these two these two are just too light but i am going to go in with mattes first and then we will go into the shimmers because those shimmers those shimmers are just stunning. There we go. And that is Earth Sign. This one here is Ambitious. And then we have Humble, which is this one here. and then ruler, which is this one here. Those are the mats. So let me go ahead and clean my hand off. And you know what? I am going to go for that shade. It's not as light. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try. There we go. And it probably was a little on the light side. Not upset about it. Let me go ahead and darken this pink one, which was humble. Very humble shade. It's beautiful. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into the shimmers. And I'm going to start with the purple, which is Mercury. And I love it and it is a shifting shade as you can see beautiful shade let me go ahead and darken it just a little more there we go I love it purple my absolute favorite shade definitely now I'm going to go into the green shimmer which is grounded the blue is balance a blue one this one here I did not swatch I will swatch it it is a matte but I'm going to do the green one 
once again grounded and then balanced. So let's go ahead and go with the green. And if y'all can see the shift, I love it. And I'm going to darken it. Of course I am. There we go. And then we have the light blue. It looks light. It's not as light as I thought it was. But there we go. And now I am going to swatch this last mat that I thought I had done all of the mats, but I guess I did not. And I'm going to put that one here. And as dark as it looks, I did use it a little more on the outer corner because it was not as dark. So it is a dark shade here. But it is not as dark but it is buildable like I said if they are not pigmented highly pigmented they are buildable that is true for every single one of the shades and palettes that I have used for Cara Beauty my hands are all different shades but here we go once again the shades are gorgeous Virgo palette this is the look once again not upset about it. Thank y'all for joining me. I greatly appreciate it and I will see y'all in the next video. Until then, stay safe, stay blessed, smile always.